I'm Adrian, editor at mattressnerd.com, where I research and review all kinds of mattresses to help you figure out which could work for you. Today, we're reviewing the Puffy Royal Hybrid Mattress, a thick, luxurious 14-inch tall mattress that could really work for some sleepers. Let's dive in and figure out if it could work for you. But real quick before we start, I want to point you to mattressnerd.com where we've got all kinds of great unbiased reviews on mattresses, pillows, sleep accessories, and more. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video when we're talking about some frequently asked questions about the Puffy Royal Hybrid. Now, in order to figure out if the Puffy Royal Hybrid is going to work well for you, we've got to dive deep into the construction. This is a 14 inch tall mattress, so it's gonna feel really thick and luxurious when you lie down on it. We're gonna start with this cover up top. It's a polyester cover that's thick and white. I really love that it has clouds kind of sewn into the top cover. But other than that, there is not a whole lot of cooling going on here. It doesn't feel cool when I lay my hand down it. It is really thick though, so it should last for a long time. Now the first foam layer in this bed is a gel infused cooling foam and that does feel really cool when I lay my hand down on it. Underneath and the layer after it, we've got the plush dual cloud layer, which is gonna conform around the body and around those sensitive joints. Right underneath that, we've got another layer of denser poly foam that's gonna keep you a little bit more supported but still conform around joints like your hips and shoulders. And finally, the last layer of foam in this mattress is also denser than the top two. So again, it's gonna keep you elevated above those coils. Finally, speaking of, there's a six inch tall layer of breathable coils. It's gonna add some bounce and some movement to this bed. There's also a base layer of foam that the coils sit on top of, which is gonna enhance the durability. Coils are great because they're gonna add extra breathability to your bed. If you're a slightly hot sleeper, the coils can give you that extra lift up to have a cooler sleeping experience. Here at Mattress Nerd, we rate mattresses on a firmest scale of one to 10, with 10 being the firmest mattress you can imagine. As for firmness, the Puffy Royal Hybrid is a four out of 10 on that scale, which means it's gonna be pretty soft and allow your body to really sink in. It's gonna contour around delicate parts of your body like your shoulders and your hips. While some other mattresses might make you feel like you're lying straight on top of the bed, the Puffy is gonna really allow you to sink into it. Now for feel, this bed is not going to be a super responsive mattress. And what that means is when you settle back into a sleep position, it might be a little bit difficult to move around and change into a different one. That's just because of the four layers of foam on top of those supportive coils. Some people really love the feeling of settling back in and being ensconced by their bed, while other people really want a responsive bed that has some more bounce to it. I'm gonna show you here that this bed is not quite responsive by using this ball. I'll bounce it on the bed. You'll see it's not rising up too far at all. In other beds, we might see a really big bounce. Now, knowing your sleep position is really important because it could help you determine whether you need a firmer or a softer mattress. Let's dive into the Puffy Royal Hybrid by sleep position to see who it's gonna be best for. Now, starting with back sleepers. If you're a back sleeper, you need a bed that's supportive enough to keep your hips elevated on the mattress so you don't feel like too much of your body is sinking down too far. For lightweight and average weight back sleepers who want that cushioning, I think the Puffy Royal Hybrid is a pretty good choice. But if you're more of a heavier back sleeper, this mattress might let your body sink down too far and actually pull your spine out of alignment. Stomach sleepers are similar to back sleepers. They need an even firmer mattress to keep those hips aligned on top of the bed. What we don't want is to see the hips kind of bowing down into the bed. That could lead to the spine being out of its natural S curve, which could lead to back pain when you wake up in the morning. For that reason, I'd say stomach sleepers are probably not gonna be happy on the Puffy Royal Hybrid because it's just too soft with those luxurious foams on top to keep your hips properly aligned. Now side sleepers are gonna to wanna to pay special attention because this bed is made for side sleepers. It's gonna be able to keep your shoulders and your hips feeling really cushioned and it's gonna be really soft around these parts of the body so you'll feel extra pressure relief there. 
Now, lightweight and average weight side sleepers, I'd say with no hesitation, this is gonna be a pretty good bed for you. For heavier side sleepers, I might urge a little bit of caution because even though we've got these thick foam layers, you might sink down a little too far into the bed. Finally, if you're a combination sleeper, meaning if you switch from position to position overnight, you're gonna wanna think about what position you spend the most time in. So if you're a combination sleeper who spends a lot of time on your stomach, I'd urge more caution with the Puffy Royal Hybrid, but if you switch from your back to your side, you could be in a really good position with this mattress. One other thing for combination sleepers to keep in mind is that this mattress is not super responsive, so it might be a little bit more difficult for combination sleepers to change position. Now, because we know that pressure relief is so important to so many sleepers, here at Mattress Nerd, we use a super scientific pressure map system to try to determine where the mattress is allowing parts of your body to sink too far and cause more pressure buildup and where it distributes your weight equally. The ideal pressure map is going to have blue and green, which is gonna show really even pressure distribution. Once we start getting into those warm colors like red, orange, and yellow, that shows there's a bit more of a buildup. So I laid on this mattress earlier and we took some pressure map readings. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at those now and see how it turned out. First up, here is a pressure map of me lying on my back. You're gonna see blues and greens all the way down my body, which is an excellent indication of pressure relief and it shows that the bed is really evening out the pressure and distributing it across my body when I lay on my back. Moving on to my side, you're actually seeing a quite a bit of red and yellow here at my shoulders and at my hips when I lay on my side. Now for me personally, I felt really secure and stable when on the mattress. I felt like my spine was aligned when I was sleeping on my side. So I wouldn't worry too much about this pressure mat, but if you do have problems with your joints and that kind of thing, might be something to consider. Finally, laying on my stomach again, similar to that back pressure map, we're seeing a ton of blue and green all the way down my body. Really great distribution. All right, now the Puffy Royal Hybrid is a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to cooling. It definitely includes some cooling measures like cooling beads in the top layer of foam. It's also got something called cooling cloud foam in the bed and even one layer of foam that has little clouds cut into the surface. So you've got little air channels for air to move. On top of that, you've got those breathable coils down below. But overall, I'd say the bed is not great for hot sleepers just because foam doesn't allow heat to disperse as easily as those breathable coils do. And you've got so many layers of foam on top of the coils that it's really gonna cancel out the coil breathability. Now for all you couples out there, motion isolation is gonna be a really important factor to consider when you're looking at a mattress. Typically we'd expect a hybrid mattress like this one to not be so great at motion isolation because of those bouncy and responsive coils underneath. But because the Puffy Royal Hybrid has all of that foam on top of the coils, it's actually gonna do a really great job at keeping movement stifled and kept on one side of the bed so it doesn't disturb the other sleeper. I'm going to drop this weighted ball from around eight inches off the mattress to simulate someone getting in or out of bed. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And you'll see there's not a whole lot of water moving in that beaker, even though this is a pretty heavy weight. So again, really great motion isolation. Now, as you can see, while I'm sitting on the edge of the Puffy Royal Hybrid, I am sinking down on the edge quite a bit. That means that the edge support on this mattress is not gonna be what we typically expect in a hybrid mattress with those strong supportive coils underneath. I think the reason is just that there is so much foam up top that you really just sink down into it. Now, edge support is not going to be a big deal if you sit or lay right in the middle of the mattress and you don't venture out to the edges very often. But if you do like to sit on the edge and maybe put on your shoes or read a book, it might be worth factoring into your decision. Now let's touch on some pros and cons of the Puffy Royal Hybrid. As for pros, this mattress is a great pick for a lot of reasons. First of all, it's really cozy and luxurious. You can see it's like just a huge chonk monster of a mattress. It's 14 inches tall. This is the kind of bed you wanna come home to at night and just sink into with your cup of coffee and watch Gilmore Girls on Netflix. 
Maybe that's just me, but it is very luxurious feeling. Second, this bed is made for side sleepers. It's gonna be really soft on your shoulders and your hips and really help you feel that pressure release. Finally, we love that the cover is completely removable so you can just unzip it, throw it in the washer and get it nice and clean. Now for the cons of this mattress. First of all, it's not quite supportive enough for most stomach sleepers. Sure, you've got those supportive coils in the bottom of the mattress, but you've got around seven or eight inches of top foam that's gonna keep your stomach from feeling really situated and well positioned on top of the mattress. Next, the bed can tend to sleep hot. The brand has really tried to include a breathable cover and cooling foams, but again, those four foam layers up top do trap quite a bit of heat. Finally, this bed is pretty expensive compared to other mattresses on the market right now. It's even pricier than the much-loved Casper Wave Hybrid in some sizes. Now, the cost of the Puffy Royal Hybrid might be totally worth it to you, but just keep it in mind. Of course, the Puffy Royal Hybrid isn't the only hybrid bed on the market, so let's go ahead and compare it. The Casper Wave Hybrid, like the Puffy, the Casper Wave Hybrid has that layer of supportive coils in the bottom section of the bed, and it's also got layers of foam on top. One big difference is that the Casper Wave Hybrid is gonna be just a little more supportive for back sleepers. It's actually got gel pods in one of the foam layers, which is gonna add that extra density and support. Uh, the Puffy Royal Hybrid though is definitely gonna give you more of that cushiony, soft feeling. Now let's quickly cover a few policies offered by the Puffy Mattress Company. First of all, the brand offers a lifetime warranty for the original owner of the mattress, which means as long as you own the mattress, Puffy is gonna replace or repair that bed for free if there's damage. That is if the damage falls under the warranty and it has not been damaged by what Puffy calls improper use. Now for shipping, the bed ships free, vacuum packed in a box one to three days after you place your order. Shipping's gonna be free to the continental US, but you might have some extra shipping charges if you want that bed sent to Alaska or Hawaii. Finally, the brand also offers a 101 night sleep trial period during which you can decide if you'd like to return the mattress for a full refund. Just note that you'll have to wait at least two weeks before you can initiate that return just so your body has a little bit of time to adjust to your new bed. Now in my hand, I've got a couple of frequently asked questions about the Puffy Royal Hybrid. Number one, how is Puffy's customer service? Now to be completely honest, what I've noticed about their customer service is that they seem a little bit more hands off compared to other mattress companies. I haven't been able to reach them on the phone, um, which might not be a big deal to you at all if you're not anticipating needing to reach them, but if you are anticipating having to return the bed or having any issues, might be something worth considering. Question number two, what's it like to unwrap this bed? Now again, the bed is going to ship vacuum packed in a box straight to your door. It's actually really simple to get it out of the box and cut away the plastic wrapping that's vacuum packed around it. It's just gonna take a couple minutes for the bed to expand to its full shape. So I'd say unboxing is really simple. Finally, what kind of mattress base works with the Puffy Royal Hybrid? Really any kind of base that's gonna be supportive is gonna work just fine with the Puffy Royal Hybrid. If you'd like, you can even place it on the floor or something like a platform bed or a slatted bed frame. Well y'all, thanks for watching. And as a final reminder, if you keep waking up with aches and pains, it might just be time to invest in yourself and consider purchasing a new mattress. Hopefully this video has helped you reach a conclusion about whether the Puffy Royal Hybrid is going to work for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and hit subscribe to our channel. See you next time.